this is my PCS binder. This has been a live server and I'm gonna tell you why. In today's video, I will be sharing with you an accompanied checklist you didn't know you needed to help you with your transition from the States to Japan. Hi guys, welcome in and or welcome back to my channel, Home of Christy T. I'm Christy T, military spouse, home decor enthusiast and owner of Sincerely Home Design. When it comes to PCSing to Japan, after you get those orders and you've realized the full shock of it all and that you're moving to a whole nother country, away from your family and all the things, now comes all the questions about housing and how do you move, packing all of your items, getting everything over, making sure you have your passport and all of that. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna answer your questions and note, help you figure out how you can have an easy transition from the States to Iwakuni, Japan. So I will preface this by saying that I will be leaving this information linked down below for you guys so that you can easily access this yourself and print it out and attach it into your PCS binder. But first I want to go over why it is important to have a PCS binder throughout your PCS process. Your PCS binder is the life source of your PCS process and will 100% guarantee that you have a smoother transition from the states to Oconus and even back or wherever you're going. So regardless of if you're coming to Japan or not, this is something that you wanna have. And in your PCS binder, you wanna make sure you at least have several critical elements and I'm gonna tell you what those are. First things first, in your PCS binder, you want to have several copies of your orders. Whether you're the service member or the family member, the spouse, whoever, you wanna have several copies of the orders that are given to require for you to PCS from one place to the next. This is just gonna guarantee that whoever asked for it, whoever needs it, digital or non-digital, you have a copy that you yourself can provide. Whether they have a printer or not, they need to keep it, fine, here's your copy. I got like 20 more. So make several copies of your orders, your spouse's orders, whoever's orders, have those in the binder. That should be like first page. The second thing that you want to include in your PCS binder, especially if you are the spouse, is a power of attorney. Now, you may think to yourself, this is not important, but as military spouses, sometimes we are always, um, sometimes we are handling things when our spouses are away, and this is even more true when it comes to PCSing. Um, sometimes they aren't able to handle certain things and you have to go handle it, whether in the States, in a different country, whatever the situation, and having a power of attorney and or copies of a power of attorney ensures that you are able to handle the things even if your spouse isn't there. Now you can get these from the military, you can get these from a bank, you can get these from attorneys, you can, anywhere you can get these, but make sure it's legal, make sure it is signed by both parties, but that meaning you and your spouse or whoever is um, a part of that, and make sure it's dated with a stated amount of time or if it's not a like continual power of attorney, make sure you put the allotted time. Just make sure all the information is on there because you never want to be without it and some power of attorneys aren't useful for certain things. So, second thing, power of attorney, get that, make copies, keep it in your binder. The third thing that you want to keep in your PCS binder is a copy of your marriage certificate or the original, whatever you need to do. You want to have this on hand, on deck, because this also needs to sometimes accompany, that, accompany the power of attorney or orders, anything like that, passport. You may need your marriage certificate to basically certify that you are indeed married um, and they're gonna ask for that and so you wanna make sure that that is in your PCS binder and that you're not without it. You would, I would hate for you to have it be in your shipment and you need it. Now your shipment's not coming for another few months. You see that causes a huge issue. So third item, make sure you have your marriage certificate or a copy of your marriage certificate, however that works. Just make sure you have it. The fourth item that you want to include in your PCS binder is your birth certificates. Yours, your spouse's, if you have dependents, um, children, make sure you have their birth certificates. Um, copies will be wonderful, that way you don't lose the original, but sometimes this is information that's needed for passports, suitability screenings, 
all of the things. Um, so make sure you have a copy of all parties involved in your family and your move, copies of their birth certificate in your PCS binder. The I've lost track at this point. I've lost track of what number I am. So we're just gonna say the next thing that you want to include in your PCS binder is copies of your social security card. This goes hand in hand with your birth certificate and usually they ask for the two. So just, it's always important to have them. And the good thing about a PCS binder is that even when you're not PCSing and you need to find these documents, you know where they are. Everything is together, everything is good. If you gotta get out, grab that binder, you're good to go. You got all the legal documents you need to be able to do the things you need to do. The next thing that you should be including in your PCS binder, which is something that I want to include, link down below for you guys, which was the full purpose of this video, and I think you will find very helpful. Now, this part is particularly pertaining to PCSing from the States to Iwakuni, Japan, but I'm sure that if you're PCSing anywhere else, there are checklists for you as well. So the item that you need to include is a checklist for what you need to be doing to complete the process from PCSM from one location to the next. Now I have taken the liberty to go ahead and leave an accompanying checklist linked down below for you so that you or your spouse, whoever is completing the PCS process, knows everything that you need to do step by step to make sure that you have an easy transition from the States to Iwakuni, Japan. So as I said in the beginning of this video, this was a short video, but I hope that you found it useful go and make your PCS binder it don't have to be cute in the beginning but if you're that kind of person make it cute make it fun it'll make it an easier process um, for me sometimes I do find that like if I'm making it cute or more aesthetic then it is a lot more fun to do just because it's such a meaning menial task of like you know securing all the documents printing all the things you may be that kind of person who likes that Get you some cool sticky tabs, get you some labels and all that kind of stuff. Make it fun, make it a fun process. Um, I guarantee you, you will thank me later. Um, having a PCS binder, also never lose that because obviously all of your personal information here, but that is something you keep near and dear to you. You're gonna carry that on the plane. Don't put it in your check bag, put it in your carry-on, put it in your personal item. That needs to be with you, not anywhere that anyone else can access it. So that is just my little bit of tips that I would give when it comes to this PCS binder. But you'll thank me later that you did it. And if you do, just let me know over on Instagram at home of Christy T. All right, guys. So that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope that you guys found this helpful and interesting and that you do today or tomorrow go out and create your PCS binder because once again, it is a lifesaver and it has been for me. So I know it will be for you. Um, I am excited for next week's video and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.